Okay. So when it comes to data, okay, so this is my expectations of you all, okay, when it comes to data. Uh, a couple different things I'm just going to point out here. Uh, you need to include your units and your lab. Um, so if you give me, for example, this person is giving me the weight of aluminum. And, you know, they got their observations over oh, shiny, silvery, and metal. That's good. Um, but the units is key here, man. Um, if they don't give me the units, I don't know what or how they weigh that in. Okay, I don't know the, the mass of this. If it's 10.12, what? It could be in ounces. It could be in kilograms. It could be in pounds. I don't know. That's the reason why you have to include the units. Okay, so this is a must for everything we do in lab. Um, also, make sure you record all your observations, measurements, and then the time that takes place of these materials. Okay, and then it's always a good thing to have your chemical reactions somewhere posted um, on your sheet to just remember what we're actually doing in lab. Have a good understanding. Um, calculations. This is very important. Um, let me move myself real fast. Um, okay, so with calculations. Um, with lab, you need to always show your work. Okay, if I don't see any work, you're getting a zero. Okay, that's I'm not really going to budge on that. If I don't see any work, you get a zero because you could have easily just copied from your partner, copied from somebody else. I don't see no work. So no work, no grade. Um, so calculations are part of lab. That's why I said if you don't have any calculations, I'm going to be wondering how you even do this lab. So I need to see calculations. Okay. Um, now... Labs can be repetitive with some calculations, okay? Uh, if it's if you notice it's repetitive, you can kind of uh, get the repetitive parts. You know, show me what you're doing here is going to be the same. In that fashion, right, if you just was using everything with your calculator, that's fine. But you just, you got to do it first, the first time, and then just show me how you did it after with this second, third, fourth trial, whatever, okay? And then for your final answer, you need to always box your final answer. Okay, this way I know for sure, okay, this is your final answer. So let's just go over like a, a situation. For instance, in lab, you have to find the density. Okay, um, I, it needs to be neat and in order. So it starts off with the equation. Density is mass over volume, right? And then in this case, we're looking for a, a bleach uh, solution. So... You can have the mass, volume, notice how they did it. Bam, they get the density, okay, here. Um, but then, you know, in this case, we got to find the average density. So we got to do it again. Everything's kind of in order, right? They give me the formula. They got to answer. Then they do the average, and then, bam, they have their final answer boxed in. This is what I'm going to be expecting from your calculations, okay? box answers in the water fashion.